focus on your breath and tune into the breath. There are lots of different channels the mind could tune into right now, but choose the breath. It gives you a handle on the body, and through the body it gives you a handle on the mind. In other words, you can breathe in a way that brings things into balance in the body. Not too hot, not too cold, not too heavy, not too light. Just like Goldilocks porridge, just right. And when the body is just right, then it gives the mind a good place to stay. They can have a good impact on the moods of the mind. Because otherwise the mind goes tuning into all kinds of other things, which can really irritate its, its peace, of, peace of mind, peace of inner sense of well-being. And a lot of that is just random stuff that you don't really need to know. There's so much information out there that's totally useless, especially from the point of view of putting an end to suffering. Yet the mind picks up all kinds of things and is afraid of missing out. Especially now with the internet available, it seems like the whole world of information is out there. And it's all happening all at once, all the time. There's no way that anybody can keep up. So the question is, is it worth keeping up with stuff outside? Why don't you keep up with things inside? What's going on in your mind right now? When greed comes in, how does it come? How does it take over? Do you know that? Lust. How does that take over? Have you, have you figured that one out? How about anger? These are the real problems in your life. And yet you let yourself get distracted by all kinds of other things. So come in here. This is the point where you can see these things as you get them willing to settle down. So this is the channel you tune into, the channel of the Four Noble Truths, the channel of the Buddhist teachings, where suffering is a problem that arises inside but also can be cured from inside. This is what you want to keep up on. Stay current on the events of the mind. As for events outside, even though we're staying here at the monastery, we still pick up a fair amount just to see what people have to say, even without trying to. So don't be afraid that you'll miss out on important things, because the important things are happening right here. <laughs>